everyone welcome back to my channel so today I do have this fun quick and easy stone slash marble nail design honestly guys it was so easy and so much fun to do and I really 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 love the final result and I love that the black didn't overpower the white too much so I think I might do some more of these or similar things or use this as an accent going forward for some nail designs so if you'd like to see how I came up with this keep on watching Okay, so I've been wanting to try like this stone slash marble idea with black and white since I shared the Opry artings with you guys. So I'm going to be going in and just painting all the tips white and going from there. So remember I said when using the Opry Artings, it's best to do it over a matted surface. So I will be going ahead and applying some of Ugly Duckling's matte top coat over all of the tips before I do go in and play around with the art. So like I've mentioned in prior videos when using the Ugly Duckling Matte, you do have to remove the dispersion layer with some cleanser for it to give you that truly matte effect. So that's what I'm going to go in and do now with all the tips. So as I mentioned earlier, I will be going in with Opry's Artings number one. And I featured this in my Opry Arting Collection 1 video, which I will have linked in the cards for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of the artings and just kind of go with the flow. Like, again, I don't have a rhyme or reason with how I'm going in with this.
before I go in and apply my top coat, I am going to apply some of these gold foil flakes as like a little accent. I haven't decided if I'm doing it on some of the nails or all of them, but we'll see how I feel as I go along. And to give something for the loose gold foil to adhere to the nail, I'm just going to be going in with my nail guard Pactus Hyper Shine and I will be applying a thin coat to each of the tips and I will just be carrying that for 10 seconds just so it has something tacky to stick to. So initially in my mind I had planned to go in on only three of the fingers and apply some of the gold foil which I did and I love how it turned out so now I'm just gonna go in quickly and add another layer of top coat as well as top coat the rest of the nails And here we have it for my stone slash marble nail art. I really, really enjoyed doing this. Like it was quick, it was easy, it was super fun. So I know this one is a bit shorter than my usual videos, but that's how it goes sometimes, guys. So let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think I should make this a full set done properly and post it to my press on nail shop? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. If you like tutorials like these and I could keep bringing them out for you guys. As always, thank you so much for sticking around with me and for watching this video. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell. If you do have any questions and or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And until next time, stay glamorous.